Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video, which I have for you guys a haul, which I'm excited for. I want to show you guys these goodies so I can put them to use and have more tutorials and more videos for you guys. Now, if you guys hear a lot of cars or airplanes, please excuse the noise. It is currently 8.23 p.m., which I never, have never, ever filmed this late. And... It's just because um, my girlfriend's currently working night shifts. So since she works, she usually works in the day. I film day and, you know, in the afternoon. Um, I spend my time with her, but she's working night shifts. So this is my time to film. And it feels so weird. I don't know if the lighting's a little bit different. I feel like the back, since I only have my ring light on, it makes my back stand out a little more. I don't know if it's just me. Also, quick side note, I did not film this makeup today. Uh, I was just in the mood to sit down, watch some YouTube videos, and play with makeup, and this is what I came out with. I'm telling you guys I want to practice this whole like spotlight, halo eye, whatever it's called, a little bit more, and I really like today's look. I don't know. I really like how it turned out. I'm also testing a few... Oh my gosh, look at that glow. I'm also testing a few other products, so you guys will be seeing that in, in upcoming videos. Uh, let's just get into the haul because... <laughs> I know it's going to be a long one, so grab your snack, grab your hot Cheetos, grab your fruit, grab whatever snack you like because you guys know my hauls are usually long. I'm going to start off with drugstore products because we have drugstore, we have uh, products that were sent to me, and a, a little gift that was sent to me, then we have Marshalls, and we have an Ulta haul, so we have a little bit of everything. I also went to Daiso, Daiso, Daiso. A lot of my purchases, I'm going to be honest, uh, it's thanks to TikTok. <laughs> and I'm saying thanks because, because yeah. So I'm going to start off with the lovely basket to where I put all the products that I start accumulating over time so that I can know what's new and to show share with you guys. So let's start off with drugstore. I purchased this foundation from Maybelline. Can you guys believe that I have never tried this foundation? Never. I heard amazing things about it and I still have never tried it. So this is a matte and poreless fit me foundation. Please excuse a neighbor's dog. And this is in the color 220 natural beige, the one I decided to choose. And I feel like it's a really good, it's going to be a really good color for me. Next, I got the Hard Candy Glamouflage Full Coverage Foundation. I've also heard this is a really, really good foundation. And I would say the shade range is a little, I mean, I think they should, they can do better. I got mine in the shade 1511 Honey. And looking at it close to this one. I mean, they look pretty spot on. So I'm excited. Along with that foundation, I picked up the new Hard Candy Sheer MV Hydrating Primer 12-Hour Makeup Grip, grip <laughs> Plums Moisturizes, Moisturizes and Perfects. Uh, it's a hydrating primer. I'm excited for this. And this is where I say TikTok came in because I saw that this was a dupe for this Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer that everyone loves. But this, I saw in the TikTok that it is very similar in color and texture to the Milk one. So this is the Hard Candy. And you guys see the Milk one. It's, it looks like I would have applied this. The like texture of it, the feeling of it, even the scent of it is so similar. So I will try them both side by side and I'll let you guys know in a future video, but I am excited for this product if it's going to be a good dupe. Moving on, because this is going to be forever, I got another Revlon Super Lustrous The Gloss. This is in the color 255 Sandstorm. Um, I'm looking for a dupe for a certain lip gloss, which is why I got this one letting you guys know right now it's not a dupe but it's an awesome awesome lip gloss uh then i picked up from maybelline i picked up a lot of maybelline products can you guys believe another one can you guys believe i haven't tried these liquid lipsticks from maybelline i know a lot of people rave about them a lot of people love them personally i just i don't know i think i feel like i have my heart set on high-end liquid lipsticks that are really good because I've tried some drugstore ones that I wasn't a fan of so I just didn't give these a try because I was like oh they can't be that good um this is their coffee edition collection and 
these truly smell like coffee it's not like overpowering in my opinion personally just because probably I love coffee I am addicted to coffee I love iced coffee I will have a, a Starbucks um, cold brew nitro the ones from the can um, and I like to make my coffee at home I like to buy the Starbucks cold brew I've tried the Stoke or Stock chameleon I've tried the what is it the Califa's brand I think it's what it's called something like that but I've tried so many so so many uh, iced coffees and I'm set on the Starbucks cold brew nitro the one that comes in the cans and I get it the box uh, at Walmart but yeah anyways see that's how much I love coffee these are coffee scented and I love it so I have caramel caramel who's how do you guys pronounce it caramel caramel or caramel I would say caramel uh, collector really pretty like brown shade and the brown orange shade then we have chai genius which is one of the more nudie ones i really like this one then we have cocoa connoisseur i love the name and we have hazelnut hypnotizer so i will have a video for you guys let me know if in that video you guys would like me to share and show you guys how i make my favorite iced coffee drink because I'm so down. I thought that would be such a cool idea, especially for this video because I know I'm always trying to think out of the box and do a little something extra that probably <laughs> isn't needed, but let me know if you guys like the idea. And then I picked up six more of these glosses. When I tell you guys I like something and I do something like this and buy multiple shades, you can really understand that I really love these. Uh, I love the formula. They're super, super similar to the Fenty Gloss Bombs, which you guys know are my absolute favorite. I love them. But when there's a product this good that's so similar, I, I can honestly say that these are a pinch just a pinch more hydrating and soft on the lips so I really really like that um, clearly I love these because I picked up six more and I have another one so in total I think now I have eight so the colors I have that I picked up are number 002 ice which is like the milky pink one then we have 004 silk 008 stone gorgeous new 003 moon this one has little shimmer refle reflex which is stunning on the lips 001 pearl and 007 amber so these are the ones I purchased and then I already had one uh, I forgot what color it is and then I will show you guys the other one that I have as we go on with the haul so yeah those were those glosses i will have videos for you guys very very soon on those um some other things from the drugstore these i actually picked <laughs> i actually picked them up today and i was so excited for them so i got the brush set from the retro paradise collection so i had been hunting this and the sponges and the lip liner set in stores forever because shipping is just taking too long and I mean I could have ordered them online but like I said shipping is just taking way too long I didn't want to wait so I was like okay let me just look for them in stores the uh, target that's near my house does not have a lot of the new things which is kind of annoying so we went to a different target and I found this they had the whole little setup the whole all the shelves uh, well they had one specific shelf just for all the elf retro paradise um, collection and I was so so excited so I also got the sponge that this one was actually recommended by my friend crystal she told me that these feel softer this one specifically which is super similar I, I mean it's basically the same style as their sponge their pink one like the hot pink one which I love but she said this one feels softer so I was intrigued and I was like okay let me just pick up the set because I want to complete the the collection now that I was talking about my friend uh Crystal which I will leave her YouTube down below I hope you guys can check out her channel she does really really beautiful makeup like her makeup looks so like glam and chic but it's like 
it doesn't look heavy it she just always looks gorgeous and like super glam so i love her her setup her backdrop and everything she sent me over this elf retro paradise line and shine line and shine lip kit and this is one of the ones that i couldn't find in store and I regretted not picking up because I started watching a lot of the reviews of this collection. And this is probably the mo like the most raved about product from the collection. So I was like, oh my gosh, why didn't I pick it up when I placed the order online, which took forever. And she offered to send it to me. So thank you so, so much. Um, I really, really appreciate it. She sent me a few more goodies. So I will be testing this out because I'm excited for those lip liners. And then she found me this Maybelline lip gloss, which I couldn't find anywhere. So she found me the number 009 Topaz, which is one of the ones that has been sold out the most everywhere on um, Walmart, Ulta. It's the one that's sold out on Target. I tried getting it when I placed order for the other ones, but they canceled this one because they said it was no longer in stock. So the reason i really wanted it is because a lot of people are saying that this is a really good dupe to the fenty one the their popular one so i want to test it out and now i have i would say i have the majority of the collection i think the only one i'm missing is like the darker shade the bronzy shade that's literally the only color i'm missing but those are amazing do not sleep on them and then she sent this cute little twig and arrow kind of like a uh, like a little headband but you can wear a bunch of different styles this is so cute she also sent this eco tools crystal perfecting blender i've never tried their sponges from eco tools but i heard a lot of people like them so excited to try these and these are just so freaking adorable she sent these three wet and wild lipsticks they're all nude i think it's like a satin one and two mattes so we have the color uh mad for mauve and they're all like gorgeous i love mauvey shades like this i don't have a lot of uh, bullet lipsticks you guys know i don't really use them but i'm excited for these i was actually like eyeing them when i went to walmart because they just look so pretty they remind me of the pat mcgrath lipsticks like the packaging i'm not saying the formula or anything like that um and then we have mochalicious which is a color i see she wears a lot do you guys see how matte and beautiful this lipstick looks oh my gosh i'm excited for these i'm starting to wear bullet lipsticks again when i do like a lip liner nude lip and gloss that's my kind of go-to lip now the liquid lipsticks are coming back as well because i miss them and then we have bear it all yeah bear it all look at this color i mean the i don't even want to swatch them they just look so beautiful and perfect <laughs> but the colors are stunning thank you again so so much crystal um you're so sweet don't forget to check her out i will leave her youtube and her instagram down below so you guys can go over and follow her subscribe to her i love her videos her makeup tutorials are beautiful okay, let's go to ulta because that's also drugstore products so Another TikTok made me buy it. The Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid. I have seen this left and right in TikTok. Five top hyaluronic acid, five top that I have seen this everywhere left and right. I've also seen it, seen it on YouTube, watched reviews, read reviews. A lot of people rave about this. And I was surprised that it was it's pretty affordable. I think this was like six dollars and something cents. Um, and it's a decent size. It's I would say it's the same size as like the Pixie uh, little serum. So I'm excited. Then I picked up the e.l.f. Ride or Die Lip Balm in the color Just Peachy. I was so excited for these. I told you guys in an anti-haul that I really, really wanted this. Uh, so I got the peach one. I do kind of want to pick up the mint one because I really like the formula of it. So yeah i also picked up a milani Ludacris lights lip gloss this was a limited edition collection i think uh in collaboration with ali i don't know i can't really remember but i wanted the corally one they only had this one it was on sale for four dollars so i picked it up this is another of my favorite drugstore lip gloss formulas i have seen this reviewed left and right tiktok also made me buy this this is the essence shine 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 wet look lip gloss don't sleep on this guys <laughs> do not sleep on this it's maybe like two dollars i think or less it's absolutely amazing i need to pick up backups because this is beautiful on the lips it definitely gives you that wet look it's not like super super sticky it's not clumpy it's not it's just perfection <laughs> 
and I couldn't believe it. It's, I think it's my first Essence product. So, so far, so good with Essence. I picked up a NYX lip liner, and this is their suede matte lip liner in the color soft spoken then i picked up the ColourPop Lux gloss because i have not tried these and this specific color tiktok made me buy it which is a color come through a lot of people say it's a dupe and clearly if you guys notice the trend of dupes i am looking for dupes for you guys so if i see someone mention something about a dupe i like to try it out and i will purchase it and see if it's a good dupe so i can talk about it uh so far I'm thinking this is the best one out of the lip glosses that I've told you guys that I bought for dupes. So I'm excited to share this with you guys in a future video. And lastly from Ulta. I love this. And I waited this long to do this haul because I was waiting for the replacement. So I got the Catrice Sungasm Face and Body Highlighter. Okay, I know this probably looks big, but let me just share with you guys how big it really is. <laughs> That's what she said. Sorry, I walked into that one. But So this is the Milani highlighter. This is a regular basic size, and look at that. <laughs> this is ginormous ginormous but i love it uh so yeah i'm excited this is a color oh it's sungasm <laughs> i think this is the only one it says it's vegan cruelty free it has a little information back here but i'm so oh, wow clearly there you guys go um i was so sad when i caught it it's so funny though because the replacement did not come in a bag but this one that came in broken came in a bag so was it already broken did it break in shipping or what was the deal but this replacement came in a, the same size box as this other Ulta order but this one came in a bag which I'm grateful for because didn't ruin any of my other products and you know the majority of the products stayed in the, in the inside the packaging so I'm all I'm going to do is open it and put it like in a little reusable little container and use it as like body like loose body highlighter which will be easier for me to get with like a big fluffy brush so i'm still going to give this use so i'm going to try to go as quickly as i can through these marshall products but i picked up some cute fine little markers fine tip mic markers because i love planning i'm still i still use my planner even though this year is the way it is i still plan my videos plan my days and all of that so i wanted some fun colorful bright markers picked up the cutest little headband and i wanted one in this print and it was only 4.99 at marshall's and i found some amazing makeup goodies i will say that uh the marshall's burlington's all those stores had been like pretty lame lately like not finding any good stuff the ones i went to and then this last time that we went i feel like i hit the jackpot on the makeup goodies so i found a milani bolt of sessions eyeshadow palette for 4.99 love this palette i'm excited to use it this is bold obsessions number two and then i found two stila eyeshadows that i don't already own because you guys see right there those that acrylic organizer has all my stila eyeshadows and i have a lot but i don't have these i have i got molten midnight and plum on and I always tell you guys, I wait to buy these now at Marshalls and TJ Maxx because all the fun colors, all the popular colors have still ended up there and they're set. So I wait to get them cheaper. $7.99. So we have the color Molten Midnight and Plum On. And I have maybe over 20 of them. Mine are not dry. They're not getting dry. I don't do anything special to them i literally some of them i haven't used them in a while but i go and i swatch them um every now and again probably every six months and they're still good uh then i have like this whole time when i'll only want to use them and none of them have dried out i have actually finished a couple of them um like really gone and scraped everything out and mine just they haven't dried out i don't know what it is a lot of, i've heard a lot of people say that they dry out super quick that hasn't happened to me 
And then I found this Cover FX Shimmer Veil Liquid Eyeshadow. I didn't know they had liquid eyeshadows. Honestly, Cover FX is a brand that I feel like I don't really pay attention to. I only have one palette from them that I absolutely love. But um, other than that, I feel like they don't really come out with a lot of products that I'm like, oh my gosh, like I'm excited for. But when I saw this at Marshalls, I was like, hey. I'm excited for this liquid eyeshadow. I love trying liquid eyeshadow eyeshadows from different brands. And this one was only $5.99 in the color Moonstone. And it's a gorgeous like rose gold color. So, so pretty. And then I found a Laura Mercier Flawless Concealer Ultra Longwear Con <laughs> Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer. This one was only $6.99. I've never tried any other products from her other than the setting powder. Um, so I was excited to find this there. It is a little too close to my skin tone once I apply it under my eyes. So I will test it out again. I think it was the foundation I wore that day and the primer. I will test it out again. And if not, I'll just give it to my mom or my aunt. And then for the last product from there is this Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Pigment. Now, I don't really buy her products anymore. I don't really care for her products anymore but this when I ran when I saw it I really fell in love with the color so it's this beautiful like pinky opalescent pearlescent like color with a beautiful duochrome shift to it like a lavender like opal shift I don't know it's just a really unique color I'm excited to use it I wouldn't have paid full price for this I only paid $5.99 thought that was such a deal and this was definitely such a score like this trip was amazing okay guys i almost forgot to show you the last thing from marshall's is this little acrylic organizer it's actually for more of like nail care and nail polishes this is the little thing that was on it and it was only 9.99 but i wanted to share with you guys how i have it so this is all new products that I have uh, purchased recently. I mean, relatively recently or received recently. And I have them here because I have a shelf over on this side of my little makeup table. It's a big shelf. It has my candles. I've showed it to you guys before. And I decided to make a section of it for all my new products because I was keeping it in my drawers and I was forgetting about products. I was forgetting to do reviews, tutorials. This way, it's out in the open and I can see it. I guess I'm more of a visual person, 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 if I see it. You know, it's easier for me to be like, hey, I need to film a review for that. I almost forgot this purchase, which is probably one of the most important ones, if I could get it open. So this is from Artist Couture. They recently launched a new collection, their Caliente collection, which when I saw the palette, I was like, yes it has to be mine they included two little highlighters which thank you so much i love brands that do this like include little samples of their other products i have gold digger and this color i didn't have it's broadway so anyways the important part these two palettes yes so this is new this is their caliente pop palette when i saw it oh my gosh i was losing my mind so beautiful but i can honestly say it's even prettier in person look at the packaging on this like this is unique packaging i love it and look at the palette the colors are so fun very like summery i love them and when i was like okay let me go buy the palette um i saw that they had a bundle for the caliente palette and the supreme nudes palette which i really really wanted as well and i think buying getting the bundle was you were saving five dollars which i mean honestly still saving something <laughs> but i really wanted this palette look at how gorgeous it is oh my gosh <sighs> I'm so excited to play with these, like so, so excited. And then and very quickly, some things that were sent to me. Um, I got a package from Real Her, which you guys know I love their products. So they sent this little package, this little cute card. And they have a new lip kit with new re retractable lip liners. So this is one of like the picture of the kits. And it says nude comes in different shades. Embrace your true nude. I love that. 
And this is the kit they sent me. I am awesome. You guys know I have a discount code with them in case you guys ever want to purchase something and save some cash flow. I've got two girls. The link is always in the description. So um, this kit comes with a liquid lipstick, lip gloss, and retractable lip liner, which I'm excited about because it has a sharpener. And what's like... I mean, you guys are probably like, oh, a sharpener. But that's important because I love my sharp my lip liners to be very pointy when I'm using them. And normally, retractable lip liners, I mean, as you use them, they start getting round and dull. And they're no longer, like, super pointy to get that really crisp line. So the fact that this, like, they thought of putting this back here, which isn't even on the in, like in the way. You're not going to be like, oh, I'm going to lose it. You know, you take it out, you sharpen it. You're done, do your lip liner, do it again. You know, take a little Q-tip, clean it. Super easy and convenient. I love this so, so much. And the color is so beautiful. Look at that color. It's a perfect, like, pinky nude. Love it. And then next is from Influencer. I received a Pat McGrath box. So they have a new mascara. This is the packaging. It's just, honestly, her stuff is so beautiful. You guys know, I think their products are pricey. They definitely are. This mascara is $30. But I have actually been putting it to the test. And I've told you guys in the past few videos that I've been testing it out. So, yeah, I'm excited. And they also included the eyeliner. I was, like, shook. I've seen people in the past that received the, the new Pat McGrath palette. And I was crossing my fingers for that one but I didn't qualify for that one um the more reviews you do like even if it's not products they send you the more you review products on their website the more chances you are to qualify for more boxes so this is the eyeliner and it, ha it comes with the pencil sharp sharpener this is probably the most uh, bougie pencil sharpener I own so the last little haul that I want to share with you guys just because it's a few things uh, I went to Daiso because of TikTok <laughs> Daiso Daiso the Japanese kind of like the the Japanese dollar store well smart move so there we go and I looked around to see if there was one near me and there actually was I picked up this like kind of like face mask it's, a, it's a, a face mask holding mask. So you guys know those sheet masks that always like fall and they like slide down. I hate when that happens. So sometimes I avoid using those masks. This is going to help you keep it on. So basically you just put it over that mask and you like put it around your ears and it will hold it in place. So hopefully this works. I saw this on TikTok. And since it was my first time in the store, I decided to just browse around all the things. And they have this 10 centimeter partition little like organizer for anything. I'm going to use it to organize my underwear drawer because sometimes it's a hot mess. So I just thought that was so cute. And this lavender color, beautiful. They have plain design. They had pink. They had like a mint color. They have a bunch of different designs. I will probably be definitely go. <laughs> I will probably be going to pick up more of these because I do think I need more and I just wanted to go to get out of the house for a little bit and see what it was all about and obvi obviously because of TikTok so I found some cute little toys for Bella which is our puppy so got some pet frisbees are these not the cutest thing ever I know it's so random but said to pick that up some kitchen stuff just like some fun things uh natural pumice pumice how do you say that pumice pumice stone the little brush and i got these cute stamp markers and it's lips for my planners which i'm excited to use this and then i got a cute little headband for when i'm doing my uh skincare especially when i wear when i'm using my facial steamer so i'm excited for this i'm probably going to put it on after this video so i can take my makeup off a cute little hair clip just thought it was cute some little film sticky notes lipstick and like nail polishes so so cute and then i also got some little snacks these are my favorite hello panda the chocolate ones and i wanted to try out the strawberry and yeah that's basically it i know this was a really really long one thank you to the ones who stayed till the end you guys are real i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what makeup products you guys would like to see a review tutorial in first obviously i am working on everything and doing videos for all these products but let me know which ones are the ones you guys want to see first 
like the artist couture pods retro paradise like what would you guys like to see first and yeah that's basically it for this long 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 haul thank you guys so so much for watching i appreciate all your support and like always i will see you all in my next video bye